Give it up one more time for Joey Porzano. All right, the two things in life, two things in life I can't fucking stand. Axe body spray and Axioms. Body spray because it reminds me of stinky feet in a locker room and almost getting molested. <laughs> and axioms because stick a fucking axiom in your fucking crease, you fucking asshole. I was talking to my friend the other day and he's like, oh, uh, oh yeah, they'll clean up American politics. Uh, I'll sell you a bridge in Brooklyn. I said, two of my great uncles died building that motherfucker. Nobody had a great uncle die in a case on the Benz? How old are we? What's the crowd? What's the demographic? Should I do younger stuff? Hey, now you're an all-star is almost 20 years old. I remember when fucking Smash Mouth just meant face fucking. No? My, a guy came up to me at work the other day, right? A guy came up to me at work the other day and he goes, bro, you've been going around the office telling everybody I have tuberculosis? That's fucked up, bro. I said, I agree. And I'm sorry to impose with my Munchausen's by proxy. No Munchausen's fans? I re uh, you guys like the uh, Monster Mash? I remember when Graveyard Smash just meant necrophilia. You guys get it? All right, have you ever masturbated to Eddie Vedder, MTV Unplugged? Just one time. His hair is amazing. And he has the face of a QP doll. I once took a QP into a QP doll. And I got it across the border. Who smokes weed in here? Any weed smokers? I smoked so much weed once I tried to reform the Catholic Church. I had so many corrections. I had weed and scotch tape. Martin Luther, did he have scotch tape? I take my corrections. I was like, molestation. Let's stop that, fellas. What, nobody ever had a Catholic I had a Catholic priest one time. He stuck his finger in my ass. I said, hey, Father, what the heck was that? He said, I was just trying to see if it came out the other side. Did that bring the room down? I apologize. Was it ever too soon to say Einstein, to call somebody Einstein? Was there ever a time where somebody was like, yeah, okay, Einstein. And somebody was like, hey, pal, Al's body's not even cold yet. Don't even fucking, don't go there. What, no? My girlfriend mentioned a friend the other day, Cassandra. I said, oh, Cassandra, the one that got date raped? And she said, why would you say that? That's terrible date rape. I was like, I don't know Cassandra that well. Look, if somebody said to me, all right, look, you know me as Carl. I got date raped and I have red shoes. <laughs> And somebody said to you, hey, how, how's Carl doing? Just between you, them, and the walls. Do you go, oh, the fellow with the red shoes? Or... Was I wrong for that? I started singing fucking MTV Unplugged. Maroon 5, you ever troll your girlfriend with Maroon 5? She's cooking your breakfast. Beautiful. Anybody vacuum? I vacuum all the time. I love vacuuming, it makes me feel beautiful. Does anybody else vacuum and you just feel beautiful? Yeah. I could be vacuuming Auschwitz. Let's have a round of applause. <laughs> I could be vacuuming Auschwitz and I'd still be fucking happy as can be. I'd be singing fucking uh, Remix to Ignition. <laughs> it's the Remix to Ignition, I'm gonna vacuum the kitchen. Thanks to the, thanks to the pistol. You guys follow the Bissell or no? What do you call two bull dyke scissoring? Box cutters. Come on. <laughs> no good? My friend told me that. My friend goes, did you know that Henry Ford built cars just to get away from the Jews? 
<laughs> I stopped talking to him that day. I said, that's enough. What's the problem here? Celebrate, hold on. Let's start with the axioms. You guys remember that call back? Start with the axioms. No use crying over smilt, spilt milk, right? Grease, summer loving, tongue in my ass. All right. No use crying over spilt milk. My uncle Johan slipped in a puddle of spilt milk and he cracked his skull so bad he was never, never the same. You ever think your fucking uncle's bilingual? He's going Como Esta. He's watching fucking Perry Como. He's going, look, uh, Como Esta. I said, what? Como, you speak uh, Espanol? He goes, no, not. Uh, como Esta. Look at Perry go. I voted this year under the name Perry Natal. <laughs> And you think American politics is doing good? We're gonna clean it up? You guys remember Watergate? I remember when Watergate just meant the CEO had a dip in his step. That's deep, cause like water and water, it's like, it sounds the same. I remember when Redbox just meant avoid that snatch until further notice. Come on. I had a punk band called Pandora Snatch. It's like, Box, snatch, we're all living in fucking boxes. You ever think about that from above? I'm gonna go into my box now. See you later, neighbor. What, you guys never had a fruit smoothie from a neighbor? You gotta have your neighbor give you a fruit smoothie and you go, why did you do that? I don't want a fruit smoothie from my neighbor. I said, come over to the barbecue. <laughs> Jesus Christ, toothpaste, huh? What's up with rap music? Weird. Like imagine fucking the 60s music had that rap music fucking drip. You know what I'm saying? Like if the Beatles released Love Me Do and the opening of the song was like bip, 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 bip. Hey yo, it's the Fab Five here. Formerly the Fab Four. Fuck Pete Best. Hey yo, hey yo. We're hitting you with that Love Me Do shit. Hey yo, hey yo. Brian Wilson is a flaming faggot. Yo, 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 yo. What, you guys like Brian Wilson? You think it's all right with that fucking Charlie Manson shit? Brian Wilson was involved in that. Nobody's been following the Brian Wilson, Charlie Manson, the scandal? Brian Wilson let it go. They had him doing harmonies on fucking uh, Surf uh, USA. Da ba 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 Ball with the ball with the ball with the ball ba 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 Ball with the ball the bang the bang Do you guys like Kid Rock at all? <laughs> I applied for a job. They go, you know ASL? I said, uh, I said, uh, All Summer Long by Kid Rock? <laughs> I said, H Sex Location? I'm 33 now, thank you. Thank you for the birthday wish. Oh, these birthdays are terrible. I'm getting old. Anybody else getting old? Jesus Christ. I blew a load to a guy in a knee brace the other day. True story. Back in the day, if Lexington Steel is in a knee brace, I go, no, thank you. I'm going to go to the next porn to where the, porn, the male porn star is a little bit more like uh, younger and not uh, in a knee brace. And I was like, wow, knee brace? Look at him prop himself up. That's probably what I need to fuck properly. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I came a long way once. <laughs> My load hit the backsplash, true story. We used to do suicidal versions of the classics. Splish, splash, bro, my toaster in the bath. Oh, all right, what do you guys know somebody who took a toaster in the bath? That's the weirdest way to kill yourself. <laughs> If your fucking friend took a toaster in the bath, you'd almost go, he did this so we could laugh at work. <laughs> did, you guys, did you guys hear about Henry? You know, he killed himself. You know how he did it? <laughs> he made himself toast and then he brought the toaster in the bath. How do you plug your toaster in and go in the bath? Does anybody know? Do you guys have outlets that's close to 
in the past? Am I getting off on a tangent here? Am I wrong for that? You guys like Eddie Vedder? You guys ever just look at Eddie Vedder on MTV Unplugged? And you just go like, oh my God, look at him, man. He's like, they found him on the beach, and they were like, who is this guy, Eddie Vedder? He's like, I'm Eddie Vedder. I'm going to sing every song. I'm going to write every song from here on. And he goes, no, man. We're Pearl Jam, bro. He was like, you know that song's daughter? We're going to make it progressive. We're going to make it about trans stuff. I remember when transmission just meant support the LGBTQAs. No, I lost the back of the room. I thought we were woke. <laughs> all right, I'm going to do some other shit. I'm going to do my fucking... All right, this is the greatest joke of all time. What did the cat with no legs say? It's been hard. <laughs> Why was the never-ending orgy no fun? Because nobody came. <laughs> You guys remember the good old one-liners where you could go fucking, you could go watch a guy do one-liners and then not respect your wife on the way home? <laughs> or no. Mill and Burl had a cock that was 11 inches. You guys didn't know that? <laughs> Uncle Milty was fucking, he was packing. He fucked me from a block away. I said, what's happened? Is Milton Burl fucking me in my ass? No. Friars Club, my asshole was fried the next day. All right, nobody likes the Melanie Burrow fucking molesting me. All right, let's go back to the beginning. I was born on a hot summer day in 1988. It was two years after the shuttle exploded. And I'm thinking at least one astronaut... One astronaut fell. Like, imagine that your girlfriend goes up into a shuttle and you're kind of like quietly like, maybe it explodes in the sky and I don't feel a thing. And you're like, but they're filming me. And this was the invention of video games. Atari existed, but Atari it, video games really took off after the, sh after the shuttle exploded. When you saw a bunch of astronaut families pretend to care when they're fucking. Is that too dark? <laughs> all right, all right, we'll bring it back up real quick with a little song. You guys know the song, uh, you guys know the song My Girl? Yeah. I got sunshine <laughs> on a cloudy day. I talk to girls online, even though I'm closet gay. <laughs> I guess you'd say society made me feel this way. I'm coming out to you guys. <laughs> All right, thank you guys so much for having me. My name is Carl Cowan. God bless you. We are TR, right?